So the first topic that we will learn is how to write a function that takes input from the keyboard and also combines strings. So here's an example. This function is supposed to get my name and then write it out as a whole. All right. So I write the function name in the console that is name and press enter. So the code starts running. Now it asks us to enter the first name. So I enter my first name that is Suleiman, my middle name that is Shakib, and the last name that is Matheka. Now when I press enter, these three strings will be concatenated and we will get the output as your full name is Suleiman Shakil Matheka. And we see that our code has run successfully. Now let's look and see how that works. So here I am using an input string st statement to get input from the keyboard. Now the user has to know what he has to enter. So we write a string that is enter your first name so that the user will enter your enter his or her first name. Similarly, we write the middle name and the last name too. Now I am using the variable f name to store the first name of the user, m name to store the middle name of the user, and l name to store the last name of the user. Now let's start and see how it will concatenate these three strings. We use the variable full name as to store the full name of the user. Then we will write f name followed by a plus sign which is used to concatenate strings. And uh, we will put a space in between, between F name and M name, there will be a space. So we put a space between double quotes. Again, we use the plus and we write the middle name that is M name plus a space plus L name. Now we need to print the output. So we use the print statement and inside the double quotes, we mention your full name is. And after that, we need to print the variables value. So we write the full name that is our variable. Now, when we run the program, it will give us this output. Okay, so now let's discuss list in Python. Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. A list can have numbers, strings, as well as a combination. Now, this is an example of a list where LIS is a list name is equal to, and then the elements of the list are in double quotes separated by comma in square brackets. Now to print this list in the console, we simply run this code and type down the list name that is LIS and press enter. So we'll get the items of the list. Now let's see how individual items of a list are accessed. So for that, first we're going to know what is the position of items in a list. So here in Python, we have A as zero index, B as one, C as two, D is three and E is four. So that is going to be the position of list or the index. So if we want the item of the list in the first index, we're going to simply write this and one in square brackets and press enter. So we are going to be having B printed. Now, if we want the last element to be printed, we'll be writing minus one in square brackets and press enter to get the last elements. So it's going to be minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on backwards. Now, if we want items of a list from a certain location to another location, we're going to be writing list. And let's say we want from the first index to the fourth index. So it's going to be separated by a colon. We'll press enter and we'll get B, C and D. That is the first index, second index and third index. Note, we don't get the element in the fourth index here. Now, if you want from one index to the entire list, we're going to write list, let's say second index with a colon and close it. So we'll get C, D, and E. If we want backwards, that is we'll write colon and three, let's say, and close it. So we'll get A, B, and C, that is zero, one, and two. Note down here, we don't get the third index element, that is D. Now, if you want to check whether an element is present in the list, we can write, um, let's say we want to check if B is present in the list. So we're going to write B in double quotes in list, that is in the list name, and press enter, so we get, we'll get true. So if we get true, the element is present in the list. Let's say if we check for F in list. 
we get false that is f is not present in the list lastly if we want to add an element after assigning the list so we have assigned a list here that is a b c d e but let's say if you want to add an element so we can use list the list name list dot append and we can write the element to be added in double quotes in round brackets and press enter so this f element has added into the list to check it we can again print the list so here an element is being added and finally to know the length of the list we can use len bracket and write the list name and press enter so we have six elements in our current list that is a b c d e f so that is all about this so now let's discuss the while loops in python while round bracket is used to start a while loop with the condition being inside the round brackets of the loop now let's see an example for this here a variable i has been declared the i is initialized to 50 now to declare the condition that is while loop we write while in round brackets we write the condition that is i less than 55 and put a colon now in the while loop we write a statement which needs to be executed so we write the print statement and write inside the double quotes python fundamentals so now let's see how the code works we press ctrl enter and make the code run and you can see the code is continuously running infinitely it will go up to infinite time since there is no stop for the loop to stop this loop we need to put a keyboard interrupt and see that the code has stopped to run stopped running now we need to put a condition which will stop this code from uh, running infinite times so we will mention a condition that is i is equal to i plus one so every time the while loop is executed we increment i by one so now let's run this code and now we can see that python fundamentals is printed one two three four and five times so first time it will print for i is equal to 50 after that it will increment by one and it will go to 51 52 53 54 and when it becomes 55 the condition is not satisfied and hence we will come out of the loop and the code will stop working this is how while loops work in python let's learn about the logical operators in python the first one is the or operator as per the or operator if any one condition or both the conditions are true the given statement of block the block of statements is executed as in if both the conditions in the if statement is true then the output will be true if one of them is false or another one is true then the output will be true and if both the conditions are false the output will be false here is a program to display the same let's run it by pressing control control enter and we see it asks for a number suppose we enter it as 4 this 4 is now stored in the variable x as given uh, now it will check the condition of if if x is less than 10 or x equal to equal to 5 we know that this x equal to equal to 5 condition is false for sure because the number entered here is 4 and we know that x is less than 10 since 4 is less than 10 so now we press enter and we see that the if state if condition is executed and the statement inside is also printed that is hello hence we know that the uh, output of this statement is true and the default statement is also printed here which is outside the if condition that is default suppose if the condition of if both the conditions were false suppose we make a change here that x is greater than 10 and execute it again so we press ctrl enter and we enter a number same number 4 and we run the statement now and we can see only default is printed here hello is not printed means both the conditions are false so the if condition is not executed that is print hello will not be done and directly it will print default mm -hmm.